games, not traveling with the team on road games. And Freya, you saying, well, they stay at the courtyard Marriott. What has Bronny James done that he shouldn't be able to stay at the courtyard Marriott? You say, well, they fly commercial. What has Bronny James done where he should be too good to fly commercial? The pros isn't about where you came from, how you were raised, what your parents had. Professional sports is about how well you can contribute. And you don't get treated differently because of your parents. You get treated differently because of your ability to contribute. And if I'm Bronny James, which I'm not, and I, was, I haven't grown up that way, I'm begging Rich Paul, I'm begging JJ Reddick, I'm begging my father, please let me travel with this team. Please let me stay at the Courtyard Marriott. Please let me fly commercial. Please let me go somewhere where I'm going to get up more than six shots in three games to not only prove it to my organization that I'm worthy of being on this team, but to my damn self. Yeah. All right, y'all, you already know, man, LDBC. But what you just heard was Ryan Clark, former champion Pittsburgh Steeler, talking about talking about Bronny James' current current G League situation because we all know he got he only playing in home games and he's not flying commercial and you know so on and so forth but he did he doesn't understand it and he also said that you know if he was a Bronny he would want to play in the play in all the games and so on and so forth just like the most just like most of us would right but I have to ask a question does this is this a reflection on when people are given something versus having to earn it. And I'm gonna say this, I have no problem with, with, with how LeBron raises kids, him and Savannah, you know, hey, they, they grew up very privileged. But I think a lot of times when you grow up completely privileged, kids kids have to, they don't have the, that, that desire, you know, like for instance, a lot of us, right? A lot of us didn't have everything handed to us. So we wanted to prove it at every single chance, no matter where it was at, no matter if it was sports, college corporate america anything you want to prove that you're the best of the best but you know Bronny's always had security guards he's probably never really flew commercial like that you know he probably never really had to um uh, scrape for a couple of hours while he was in college or you know y'all he worry about whether or not the lights gonna get cut off at his house or anything like that so Bronny may just not have that burning desire like I, I see he's struggling in the G League right now. Um, and you know, it's it's rare that kids, when your parents are of a certain status, that the kids have that same burning desire. And um, you know, when you when you think about it, maybe somebody like a Peyton Manning, honestly, he came from that type of background. Ken Griffey Jr., he had that burning desire. But it's rare where people, even a Floyd Mayweather, it's rare that people have that you know where you come from parents that were uh you know either professionals or or successful or or pretty well well off and you want to be the best of the best you know and 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 um and i get it from lebron's perspective because he like look this is my dream my dream is for my son to play but then his dream is overlooked by his blindness of his son the love for his son because Brody's not that good of a player he's not that good and i'm gonna say it again he wasn't the best player in middle school high school college but yeah, he's drafted by one of the most historic franchises of all time. A place where Magic, Kareem, Shaq, Kobe, you know, they, they have, um, uh, they're, those are the iconic figures, right? So you're like, okay, well, maybe Bronny get drafted by, I don't know, the Hornets or, or somewhere like that. No, he gets picked. ESPN does a second night, an NBA draft night just for him. And then it's like, the kid, the kid ain't, he ain't that good, you know? But then not only is he not that good, you're still being pampered and sheltered to the point to where corporate media or or will get blacklisted just for trying to speak out about uh, speak out against this. You have people in my comment section saying you don't know what you're talking about. I'm hating, even though I have a son. You know, well, he ain't as old as Bronny, but he getting up there as well. Like, uh, you want to see you want to see the best of you want to see Bronny be the best person of him. But man, basketball just may not be for him. Maybe he's maybe he's supposed to be a gamer. Maybe he's supposed to be the Michael Jordan of of, uh, of streaming, you know? Uh, what's that dude named Kai Sinat? He's in all the commercials. My son know who he is. Some of these streamers are are making what twenty million dollars a year, probably. Ronnie could have been in that lane, you know. He could have been the goat at that, but instead he's being pushed into something that he's not. But then also he don't have that drive in him. He don't even. He probably he doesn't even know he should be doing it. Ronnie's probably not listening to us on social media or ESPN or he probably got Rich Paul and them in his ear 
saying all you know all, all the good things instead of the negative but it's like dude at some point man they're gonna have to uh shake something up over there but yeah i agree with ryan man ronnie should be trying to prove to the world that he's not his father he's not his father's shadow and that he's his own man but maybe he just don't know honestly maybe he just don't know and um you know lavar said this years ago years ago and people was mad and he was like man look sometimes the best players don't necessarily make the best sons in sports and i get it i mean genetics play a factor and also the drive the drive i'm on here grinding right now but if i was worth 100 million maybe i wouldn't or maybe my son wouldn't be <laughs> wouldn't be trying to go hard if i was worth 100 million you know so i just want to get my quick thoughts about that tell me what y'all think